right hi friends this is shanmuk ms sql db trainer in this video i'll show you how to bring the database into single user mode and then again um, back to its previous state which is multi user mode and emergency mode i'll show you all the three states okay uh, using gui as well as your particular query also okay so in case if i want to bring this database into single user mode using gui go to the properties of the database go to the options okay and go down there you can see multi user right so you can select it and you can you can okay set it as a single user right so you can click yes so that the database will be in single user state single user means only one person can access at a time okay so if another person is trying to access it will throw the error like stating the database is in single user mode okay so if i want to bring it back to its multi user mode to its previous state okay again go back to its previous uh, properties of the database okay and go down there you can see again okay multi user so you can choose multi user and you can click okay in the same way you can bring the database into restricted state okay if you want to bring the database into restricted uh, uh, access okay you can you can go down and again you can select restricted access so that uh, it won't be accessible for other users and all okay so you can see like this so the database uh, state will be restricted user so no one can access uh, i mean like uh, this will be and the database won't be accessible it will be in restricted state okay so uh, if i want to bring it back again go to the properties again you can go to the option space and again we can bring it back to its a multi user state okay so let me choose multi user and you can click okay this is how we can keep changing the states and all but usually don't do it this practice in the organization in, in case if we have clear instructions to do okay so this is how we are going to do uh, keeping in single user mode multi user mode and all the same thing we can explain using query also okay so alter database database name okay you can drag and drop this database set single underscore user okay this is the query you can execute it and you can see the status as a single user mode you can see it is showing single user mode if you want to set it as multi user mode you can just simply change it to multi underscore user again the database will be okay uh, sent to multi user mode okay which is online and everyone can access if you want to bring this database in emergency state okay uh, emergency state usually if any database is corrupted will bring the database into emergency state and we are going to fix it so in case if you want to bring the database into emergency state you can you can uh, set the query as emergency set emergency and you can run it and again okay if you want to see the status you can see the status as emergency here you can see one warning symbol you can again bring it back to okay uh, its normal state multi user again you can use multi underscore user query so sometimes it will it will be back to online sometimes it will still show as emergency state so the for that what we can do is uh, uh, bring the database offline and again try to take it online so that uh, it will fix the issue okay drop all active connections and you can click okay and again bring it back to online right so the database will be online if there are no issues then only the database will be online guys okay right so that's it and thank you for watching the video